When protests continuing across the country are bringing more concern to health officials, these large groups of gatherings over the weekend could lead to another wave of the coronavirus. We're connecting the dots. As the country reels from not just a pandemic, but protests as well, officials worry that one crisis could actually make the other worse. Let's connect the dots. According to reports, there have been protests against police in at least 75 cities across the U.S. There have even been protests in European cities in the wake of George Floyd's death. And officials are worried those mass gatherings could increase the spread of COVID-19, just as many areas were seeing signs that it was slowing. And there's another factor causing concern. Atlanta's mayor pointed out the coronavirus appears to take a larger toll on communities of color. According to the New York Times, death rates for African Americans are double those of whites during this pandemic. This concern has led to calls from infectious disease experts for protesters to wear masks and practice social distancing. Advice that's hard to take as large crowds march through the streets. All this has led some experts, like the former head of the Food and Drug Administration, to predict a new wave of the coronavirus infections. Scientists are urging demonstrators to go get tested, but that could also be a problem. Some large cities like Los Angeles have shut down testing sites because of the protests. Connecting the dots, I'm Stephanie Whitfield 